This is a very sad case. A young girl has been traumatized and a boy's life has ended prematurely. We must do right by these two young lives. Mr. Shanmugam was referring to the to case which involved 14-year-old Benjamin Lim. Last month, the One, Northview Secondary School student Benjamin had allegedly no molested an 11-year-old girl. He committed suicide hours two, after being questioned by officers. Amid speculation over details of what Within happened, lift, Mr. Shanmugam highlighted the facts. On the 25th of January, Benjamin, who lives in Yishun, had made a detour before going home. He had followed the girl into a lift at her HDB block. CCTV cameras in the lift captured him touching part of the girl's body, which Benjamin later admitted to the police. The girl's family filed a police report on the same day. On the 26th of January, five police officers, three from the Yishu North Neighbourhood Police Centre and two from the Ang Mokyo Division headquarters, went to Benjamin's school. They were in plain clothes and arrived in unmarked cars. The three NPC officers have detailed knowledge of the community. They interact with the schools. They interact with the community. The teachers, they link up with the school. They make the interactions smooth. They answer questions that the school may have. Basically, they facilitate the process. The divisional officers assist in the investigation of cases. Benjamin was then brought into the principal's office. One officer spoke to him in the presence of his teachers and principal, who later advised him to call his mother. The officer also spoke to his mother, saying Benjamin will be taken to the Ang Mokyo station to give his statement. He was then escorted out by two of the five officers. At no point did the police handcuff him. At the station, an investigating officer recorded Benjamin's statement at his workstation. They were not alone, as the office has an open-plan concept with other officers close by. Benjamin was said to be cooperative throughout the process. When offered food and drink after the interview, he declined. He was then placed in a secured temporary holding room while waiting for his mother and sister to arrive. The family left after the police recorded his mother's statement. In all, Benjamin spent about three and a half hours at the police station. After they reached home, he had lunch and played games on his phone. His mother later told him he would not be going to his school camp the next day after she had spoken to his school counsellor. It was about 4.20pm when Benjamin was found dead at the foot of his block.